Hello guys, so today we'll be discussing the problem number 241 uh, different ways to add parentheses so what exactly we have to do is so we'll be given 2 let's say 2 into 3 minus 4 and uh, we'll have to find all the combination of all the possible you know bracket arrangements so let's say one of the possible bracket arrangement can be uh, 2 into 3 minus 4 so the answer should be 2 into 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 and the other possible arrangement can be 2 into 3 uh, minus 4 so the answer of this expression should be 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 so ideally in this problem we have to be a little bit you know this question is a little bit less intuitive so for example what how we should exactly proceed in this uh, problem statement is so let's say we have a uh, operand sign of multiply minus divide or plus whatever it is so we'll break the problem into sub problems at that point into the left part and into the right part so let's say if we have 2 into 3 minus 4 then as soon as we reach here what we'll do is we'll break the sub problem into left part and the right part okay and this left part will be returning me a list of uh, all the answers from the right side and uh, from the uh, I'm sorry this is the right side let me just correct this this is the right side and this is the left side and this left side will be giving me some values and the expression the final expression should be the multiplication of each and every value of this problem right so similarly when uh, we'll move our pointer forward so at one point initially like initially it was at this particular point multiply then when our pointer will move forward then we'll have something like 2 into 3 minus 4 and our pointer will be on this particular point so at this particular point we'll be breaking down into the left part and into the right part and we'll be calculating uh, like similarly again we'll be having the right arrays and the left arrays and we'll be multiplying each and every value of the two sub arrays of the two results actually uh, and we'll be basically uh, giving out the answer in this way so this problem statement looks pretty simple and pretty straightforward in the case of three uh, three numbers or two expressions but as uh, as soon as we move towards the uh, you know uh, more number of uh, numbers or more number of expressions then it becomes a little bit less intuitive so let's take the example of 1 into 2 minus 3 into 4 correct so in this case what we'll do is we'll first of all take our pointer at this position and now we'll dividing the problem into two parts left and right now the thing is that we already just calculated uh, the answer for a three number or two expression problem uh, above like this one so we don't have to actually worry about it what we know is that these three numbers are actually going to give me a list of integers and this particular value is going to give me a list of integers in this case it's going to be one only but let's assume that uh, we have multiple integers here and so what we are simply going to do is we are going to again like multiply the left and the right uh, arrays and we'll be appending each value to the answer so it's as simple as that so that's not an issue at all similarly uh, if when we move forward then we'll be like 1 into 2 minus 3 into 4 then we'll be dividing the uh, string into two parts the left sub part and the right sub part again similarly we'll be having some of the arrays here some list of array here and what we're going to do is 
we are going to take the two values here from the left part and the right part and I'm going to do the same operation in the center so let's say if the value here was 7 let's say and let's say the value here was 5 then what we're going into the final answer what we're going to do is uh, we'll be appending the value 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 so let's suppose we have two arrays this is 7 3 1 on the left side and 1 5 on the right side and we have to do sum okay so basically uh, you can assume that we have a plus in the center and then when we broke the problem statement into two parts the left part is giving me 731 and the right part is giving me this 1 5 so what we're gonna do is we'll be having a final answer array correct and what we can do is for each value in left part that is 731 we're gonna multiply it to the each part each value of the right part that is 1 and 5 so and not multiply actually in this case it will be some and in case of sub subtraction it would be minus so yeah so forth so let's proceed so 7 plus 1 is 8 the final answer would be having 8 7 plus 5 that is 12 and 3 plus 1 4 then 3 plus 5 8 then 1 plus 1 2 and 1 plus 5 6 so in this way we'll be having this final array and as we move forward for more expressions we'll keep adding to this particular array only so this is how uh, we are going to solve this problem by breaking it into the subparts and this uh, this problem as I said can be a little bit uh, unintuitive to you but yeah it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward so yeah good luck guys happy coding